Welcome back to Bit Break and welcome behind the scenes. I'm going to take you with me all day and show you what a day in the life of Book Break is really like. So in case you don't know, Book Break is the booktube channel of the publisher Pan Macmillan, which is where I work. I'm working from home as most of us still are, so let's ignore the fact that I do have a picture on my wall from a rival publisher, but Penguin are some of our greatest friends and I got that picture for my birthday, so just really like it. But these bookcases are absolutely stuffed filled with Pan Macmillan books. I have a very messy desk, but here it is. This is my nice two screen setup, so I can see my calendar over here while I'm doing video tasks over there. At Pam Macmillan, we have flexible working hours, flexible start times, so I'm starting quite late this morning. It is now 10 a.m. I went for a swim this morning, hence the wet hair. So that's why I'm starting at 10. So let's get on with my day. I also have a standing desk, which I never shut up about, but has massively improved my working from home life. So first thing I do every single morning is I go straight into the YouTube studio, the virtual YouTube studio, and look at our analytics for the last few videos. I also have a whole colour-coded spreadsheet. It's a very complicated system I came up with. I can't show you too much because it's probably all very confidential, but look how colourful it is. Okay, the next thing I do every morning is I open up Instagram, the Book Break Instagram. That way it makes it easy for us to keep track of which books have been going down particularly well with influencers and what the reaction has been. So look at these beautiful posts we get tagged in. All right, so those are the tasks that I start every morning with. Now I'm gonna actually look through my emails. I always have a quick glance in the morning to check there's nothing urgent. Um, but now let's see what I need to address today. So the first thing is about exciting news, the new Jesse Burton book. You may have already seen it announced, The House of Fortune. It's gonna be a sequel to The Miniaturist, which is really exciting. I don't know if you can hear, but the garage across the road are playing hot stuff. So that's providing a great soundtrack to my morning. Now I have quite a big task I'm gonna settle down to. I might even put my desk down to sitting mode for this one. Down she goes, <laughs> very slowly. So a really big part of my job is that I run our Insider community. So Insider is a pretty small, hand-picked community of influencers that we work with. So that's what I'm gonna settle down and do for the next hour, I think, is just get all those books sorted, get all the mailing lists sorted. Okay, all done, and I have used up all of my proofs, unsurprisingly, of Under the Whispering Door, which is the new TJ Klune. I knew we would get so many requests for that one, so I've given away all of my quantities. Uh, I've still got loads of requests, more than that, so I'll see what I can do. I can always ask the publicist, ask around, see if we have any more proofs. But yeah, I did know that one was going to be popular. We also have a gothic book coming up next year called Hair House. All of my proofs are that gone. All of my proofs of Shadows of Rookhaven are gone, which is a um, it's a second in a children's book series. And all of my finished copies are gone of the YA book, The Woods are Always Watching. That's a Stephanie Perkins. I knew all of these were going to be so popular. What else has run out? Sunset Swing, that's book number four in the City Blues Quartet, all gone. It was a very popular month. Taking 10 minutes to walk around and stretch out of it before I have to go straight into another meeting and have to be sitting still for another hour. So my next meeting is actually quite interesting. Let's sit here. So at 12 o'clock, I'm meeting with the brands team, which is a team that I don't usually work that closely with. So this is gonna be a really interesting conversation. So the brands team work on some of our biggest brand authors, the authors with really, really recognizable names, that publish a ton of books. I'm not allowed to give you specific examples, but you'll have some ideas in your head of the kind of authors that are brand name authors. So Elle and I, Elle is the other half of the Book Break team. You'll get to meet her later on in this video. We are gonna go and have a meeting with the brand team and talk about what we can do with our audience, our Book Break audience, what we can do with our influencers that we can work with, where we think we can help generate even more excitement about some of those big brand name authors. So really interesting. Okay, back to my stretching. The publishing industry is pretty much entirely fueled by cups of teas and coffee, but I don't actually drink tea or coffee. I do drink chamomile tea, so that's what's gonna keep me going through this next meeting. Right, back to work. Hello. How are you? Okay, that was a really, really great meeting. Really interesting, loads to talk about. So now I think it is time for my lunch break. Go on, go run. Go 
Okay, back at my desk for meeting number two of the day, which is another really fun one. So I'm one of the co-chairs for our Pam Mac Pride group, which is one of our diversity groups. And together with the other diversity group, we are planning a little party. It's going to be our kind of official launch of our diversity initiative. So yeah, that's the meeting we're having now is event planning. <laughs> I'm actually going straight in now to meeting number three and that is my catch up with Elle. So some of you who have been watching this channel for a while will remember Elle. She used to feature in some of the videos back when we worked in the office together. Now we've been working remotely for a year and a half. So she has not been on the channel. I have not seen her in person for a very long time. So let's reintroduce her. I've had questions before sometimes. When I say we on the channel, people are sometimes commented saying who's we because these days you only ever see me. But Book Break is a team of two. I present the videos, Elle is my line manager and so we come up with all of the concepts for the videos together. Once a week we have a catch up and talk about ideas for future videos, etc. So that's what I'm going to go into now. Here she is, here's Elle! Hi. <laughs> Meeting's over for the day. I still have some filming to do this afternoon, uh, but first I'm just gonna finish off the job I was doing earlier, getting all those books sent out. I've got everything ready now, so I'm sending that all off, all of the mailing lists off, and then I'll be done. Okay, let's take some Instagram pictures. What have I got on my bookshelf that I haven't taken a picture of yet? I don't have all the fancy Instagram props at home, so I'm using my own skirt as an Instagram background. <laughs> this is gonna work fine. That actually worked pretty well, so I'm going to see what other clothes I can do that with. Okay, we can do this with a skirt, still on the hanger. Okay, my last major task of the day is to film a video. So I'm shutting myself into this hot, hot room so that I don't hear too much of the garage noise from next door. So the video that I'm filming now is going to be on the best audiobooks. 15 of just the best audiobooks you'll be completely obsessed with. So here's a little book break secret. I don't like to be wearing the same outfit in two videos in a row because then the thumbnails look too similar. So even though you guys know I'm filming this on the same day, I'm actually going to go and change my outfit. Ta-da! And just like that, it's a whole new day, seemingly. Okay, are you ready to get very meta? Welcome back to Book Break. In this video, I'm going to be recommending 15 amazing audio books. I do a lot of pausing in between each sentence. That's why there's so many claps. It is so hot after filming all of that. I have never been so glad to open a window. Okay, it's coming towards the end of my day. So let's check back in on those emails that I said I would push till later. I guess later is now. So a really exciting thing that I'm working on at the moment is our next influencer read along. You may have seen those on Instagram before. Do keep an eye out. Uh, so I'm working on the next one. I won't tell you what it is. Um, but this email is all about just figuring out what merch we're going to be sending out with the books, the dates we're doing it, when we're hosting the live show. So that's what organising I need to do. I've also got an email updating me on all of the stats from our last Insider newsletter so I can see how many clicks we got, which books were the most clicked on, what the open rate of this email was. So I need to look through that, compare it to the last few months and then also reply with the insights that I've got because I've been speaking directly to the influencers. So, let's do those three mails now. With 10 minutes left of my day, I'm gonna go on TikTok, but I promise this is still work. So our US counterpart is currently running a Great Gatsby read-along on TikTok, which we've invited a bunch of our influencers to join, and we've shouted about on the Instagram and stuff. So I wanna go and check out how it's going and see if there's any good stories for me to share. Hey there, old sport. It's August, which is the Great Gatsby mom. We're talking Gatsby. It can be pretty. And with that, my day is over. So that was a little glimpse into what a day in the life of Book Break can look like. It's something a little bit different every day, but that gave you an idea of some of the range. If you've got any questions about what we do here on Book Break, do leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer all of you. I hope you enjoyed following me around for the day. I will link here to a video we made before on all of the different jobs in publishing that you could potentially work in. So it's not even all of them, it's just some of them. There are so many endless roles and more coming up all the time. But click through if you want to have a look at some of the ideas and I'll see you next time.